So the early trial is one more trial looking at uh, the timing uh, of the angiogram in non-acylation ACS patients. We have had something like 10 randomized studies before and meta-analyses. And as you may know, there was no difference between an early angio and a late angio on death, on MI, on revascularization, and on bleeding. So it's one more study. So what is new in this study, it's the first one to come after the ACOST study. The ACOST study said, you know, while waiting for the angiogram, you don't have to pretreat the patients with a P2 white valve antagonist. It's useless, no benefit on the ischemic side, and it is harmful in terms of safety. So this is the first one after the ACOST study, no pretreatment. They, they have randomized something like 600 patients, and they come out with a significant result. So significant result on the primary endpoint, which is death, and a new access to the CAT lab rapidly, not scheduled for recurrent ischemia, uh, arrhythmias, heart failure. And there is a big difference, and it is significant. But when you look into the details, it's all driven by one thing, recurrent ischemia activating the CAT lab. And this is where we have an issue, because this is an open label study. So this is fine when you look at mortality. This is fine when you look at microinfarction, measuring biomarker. It's, you know, it's more difficult when you look at recurrent ischemia, because of course, this is something that can be influenced by the investigators and there is a, and there is a risk of bias. So this is probably the main limitation of the study. Nevertheless, this study confirms all the previous studies, and I think it has nothing to see with pretreatment or no pretreatment in the strategy. So this is where we are. Usually we do not pretreat these patients. We apply the strategy of seeing the coronaries before loading with a P2Y12 antagonist. And once you have seen the coronaries, you can load. You have an indication for PCI. Otherwise, you do not load because cabbage, because medical treatment. And the timing, go to the CAT lab as soon as you can, within 24 hours, 48 hours, but it has no thing to see with pretreatment. So this doesn't change anything? No, it does not change anything. We have to continue to apply the strategies that we have, to apply the guidelines, um, no, no new, no, nothing new.